Gaming Bolt presents 14 more creepy Easter eggs that will keep you awake for nights. Easter eggs are always a nice little extra put in by the developer for gamers to enjoy outside of the core experience. Sometimes they're small references that bring a smile to your face. Sometimes they're much bigger than that and delve into the backstory of something in the game's story. And sometimes they're eerie, frightening little tidbits that are so creepy you actually feel like going out of your way to seek them out once you've heard about them. We've already spoken in a previous feature about some of the creepiest Easter eggs we've found in video games, and in this feature, we're going to take a look at 14 more. Forgive Us, Jam Sessions DS. You don't expect a game like Jam Sessions to have anything creepy in it, but it actually has a secret Easter egg that's actually kind of spooky. While playing the game, if you play the A6 chord and then do nothing, once the chord rings out, you can hear a whisper saying something that sounds a whole lot like, Forgive Us. One of the game's developers claims that it's actually an error on part of the sound recording, with the recorder's voice caught on tape while he was saying next in Japanese. Giant Squid Splashdown Splashdown employs a pretty clever way of getting players back on track if they're ever veering off course. If you ever turn right off track at the very beginning of the freestyle mode, you can actually notice the shape of a giant squid in the water below you, and if you ever get too far off course, the squid actually pulls you under the water with its tentacles and then sends you back onto the intended course of the track. Game Over Screen Time Splitters 2 if you ever die in the game and then choose to leave the game over screen on for a little while, the game begins to make some strange sounding noises, like speech that's been really slowed down. After a couple of minutes of these strange noises, you can hear a woman saying, is that too loud, while her voice echoes against the background music. Hidden Face, Half-Life Blue Shift. The Blue Shift expansion pack for the first Half-Life title features a pretty creepy easter egg and it's not all that easy to find. At a certain point in the game, players can climb on top of one of the air vents. When you get to the top, if you crouch down and shine a light into the vent opening in front of you, you can see a strange face with huge eyes staring back at you from the darkness. Developers as Ghosts Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid games are always brimming with hidden messages and easter eggs and they're usually pretty amazing. In the original Metal Gear Solid, the game's development team actually hid ghost versions of themselves in various areas throughout the entire game, and you can see them by scanning the environments with your camera. For instance, in Otacon's lab, you can find the ghost of Hideo Kojima himself, while a series producer's ghost can be found in the hallway outside of Otacon's lab. James's Doppelgangers Silent Hill 2 Silent Hill 2 was a pretty frightening game to begin with, and its plot points about James's mental issues and his weird visualizations were a frightening window into his troubled mind. Apparently, those themes can be found in even the game's most nondescript aspects. For instance, you run into many bodies lying slumped around while playing the game, but did you know that these bodies are actually doppelgangers of James? Creepy indeed. Cannibal Assassin's Creed Unity Assassin's Creed Unity may be the black sheep of the Ubisoft franchise, but in at least one way it's quite memorable, at least for a few seconds. If you're in the Tuileries Garden in the game, you can find a boat that's filled with what looks like corpses covered in blood-soaked cloths, but if you delve a little deeper, you'll actually find something far more sinister. Under the garden is a cannibal who's been locking people up and cooking them for his meals. You can actually see people locked inside of a cage, and what's even worse is that the game gives you no way of letting them out. Mia's Nightmare Room, Psychonauts. In the level in Psychonauts that sees you delving into Mia's mind, you find a lot of stuff. Shiny disco balls, colorful walls, mirrors, and a lot of other cheerful stuff. But there's a hidden room inside of her mind that reveals some darker secrets. As you get closer to the room, Mia tells you that that's not where you have to go, but if you ignore her and head inside, you find yourself in a room with fiery figures circling around you and screaming, why didn't you save us, Mia? You can also find a scrapbook later that explains exactly what this means. Mia used to work at an orphanage that burned down, and when it did, she was unable to save any of the children. Watching the TV, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Animal Crossing is the kind of game that can be unintentionally creepy at a lot of times, with big-eyed characters and its strange, idyllic village-like settings, but this particular Easter egg's creepiness is definitely not unintentional. If you turn on the TV in the game at night at exactly 3.33 a.m., you can see a set of alien eyes staring back at you and trying to communicate with you through some extraterrestrial message. What does it mean? What is it trying to say? Well, 
We don't know, but it does give us the chills. Post-Apocalypse, Splatoon. Splatoon is a game about throwing paint on everything, from squid-like creatures to the walls and the floors. But there's actually a real backstory to the game's bizarre setting. Collecting sunken scrolls in the game reveals a lot of this backstory. Apparently, all of humanity was wiped out and the entire world basically ended due to rising sea levels a long time ago. And the extinction of mankind was what gave rise to these squid-like inklings rising up and becoming the new dominant species. Screensavers, Fatal Frame. This one is actually pretty easy to find. All you have to do is, well, nothing at all. Fatal Frame games actually have this one in common. While playing the game, all you have to do is put the controller down and wait for a little while. And these creepy screensavers take over your screen. They usually portray some strange looking faces that continue to stare at you until you start playing again. And let me tell you, they don't look friendly. Hidden Alma, Fear. Fear was a pretty scary game, true to its name, and this particular easter egg is quite memorable. In the game's tutorial section, right at the very beginning, you come across a set of locked double doors, but you can actually go past them and into the room beyond. If you manage to get inside, you can see a creepy little girl inside for just a short while before she suddenly vanishes. At this point, the only way to go forward is through another door in the room, and once you go through, you hear a little girl say, I hate you, daddy, before you're suddenly teleported back in front of the jammed double doors. The Hellhound, Red Dead Redemption. The town of Tumbleweed in Red Dead Redemption is a pretty creepy place in and of itself. It's basically a ghost town. While you're in this town, you constantly hear the howling and barking of a hound. You can always hear it, but you can never see it. It's loudest near the cemetery of the town, while inside of a nearby church, you can see the following words written on a surface. The devil has gotten into that beast. Perhaps it's best if we can't see it then, right? Messages from a Serial Killer, Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V is full of Easter eggs, big and small, scary and funny, and this particular one has to be among the best. Throughout Los Santos, you can find messages scratched onto surfaces that have been left by the Infinity Killer Merle Abrams, who was imprisoned for the killings of eight people and recently died in prison. Some of the messages he left behind are truly horrifying, such as one particular one that goes, two was fun, three tried to run, four called mom. What's more, if you follow this trail, you can eventually find the bodies of the victims. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.